Hey, what's going on? This is your boy, Tone Duncan, and you're in tune with the Truth Seekers. Today, I want to talk to you guys about dairy. Dairy is one of the most unnatural foods of any special consumption. I mean, there is no other species on this earth that suckles the breast milk of another animal and have the audacity to believe that it's good, healthy, and great for our survival. First, you have to understand something. Saturated fats from milk create heart disease. The amount of sugars from milk are terrible for our body's ability to stay lean. And not only that, but also, believe it or not, one of the main contributors towards breast cancer and prostate cancer is dairy. Dairy is terrible. The reason why you think it's so good is because of the millions and millions and millions of dollars that the dairy industry puts into marketing that poison to our children and to the adults. What you don't understand is that dairy is bad. Here's a good example of that. When your child is sick, what does the pediatrician tell you? Don't give your child milk because it's a mucus forming agent. Okay, now if your doctor's gonna be honest about something when your child's sick, how is that helping the child when he's not sick or she's not sick? Come on now, you get it. You really get it. You understand? Dairy has to be removed. I don't care how much you think you like cheese. I don't care how much you think you need cream in your coffee. I don't care how much you think a little bit of milk isn't bad for you. What you don't understand is if you were to flip your foods around and read the ingredients on it, dairy is ubiquitous in all of the foods that we consume now, especially packaged foods, foods you wouldn't even think have anything to do with dairy. Yep, there it is right there. And let me tell you something else for all you protein consumers who think that having this powder protein shake milk is some good thing for you. What you don't understand about that whole deal is that 20 some odd years ago, the federal government was fining the dairy industry because they were wasting, dumping out all of that casein, all of that whey into the water supply. And the government was fining them for it. So you know what Big Dairy decided? Let's find a way to repackage it and sell it to the number one protein consuming country in the world. You get marketing, you need more protein. Idiots, look around the world. We have more protein per meal than any other country. You know what happens when you have too much protein? You feed tumor cells. Do you know what happens when you feed tumor cells? You get cancer. Think about this, you guys. As I told you again, dairy is an extreme contributor to breast cancer, prostate cancer. But you know there's choices and there's opportunities for you. One of the things that I'm going to advocate, especially to women, is to start to consume soy, okay? Now, even if you don't like soy, you can have soy milk, okay? Now, I'm not into processed foods at all. So you'd hear me talk more about edamame. You'd hear me talk more about natural steamed soy. But if you have to start somewhere, even if it's soy milk, just to get you going, let me explain something about cancer. See, cancer lives, especially we're talking about the cancers from breast, uh, excuse me, from dairy that cause breast cancer and cause prostate cancer. Um, so these cancers live off of estrogen, estrogen. And that's the reason why they're so dangerous for us. Now I know some of you so-called smart people are gonna say, well then why does it happen so prevalently in women that are um, past menopause? They're not creating the estrogen that they used to. Well, here's what you don't know. You don't know that cancer cells create their own estrogen. How do they create their own estrogen? They create their own estrogen through the utilization and conversion of cholesterol. It is serious, man. We've got to think and we've got to be dynamically different if we want to see change. So you guys, here's a cool thing about soy. Soy not only reduces the amount of estrogen, but it also inhibits estrogen absorption. Estrogen utilization is depleted when you consume soy. So this is why I'm advocating, especially to you people who think you're dairyaholics, start to use soy milk, start to use soy food products and try to stay away 
from the processed soy products like tofu cheese and like tofu burgers and all that now don't get me wrong if you're in the process of eating these kind of foods like hamburgers which are extremely unhealthy for you if you're in the process of eating dairy cheese which is extremely unhealthy for you I like to talk about not good or bad foods but better or worse foods so yeah I might consider soy uh, processed foods to be bad but if I was to compare them to the other foods you were eating I would say that the other foods you were eating were worse so in a transitional mindset it's okay to use something to get off of something else so remember this very simply get the heck off of dairy start to consume more soy and smart smart decisions are going to create the kind of change that you deserve Hey, this is your boy Tone Duncan. Much love. Peace.